Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness, and today we're going to talk about zone of bat position. Zone of bat position has everything to do with the way that you brace your spine before you move. The zone of bat position refers to the diaphragm, which again is inside your trunk, so it's the separation between your abdominal cavity and your thoracic cavity, and you use it when you breathe in, it's your primary respiratory muscle, to pull again downward on the ribs and the spine and it anchors to go and give you air in. So you're gonna suck air in by this pumping action of the diaphragm descending. Now what supports that is the shell of muscle around the midsection, the abdomen, and that has to do with an inner unit and an outer unit of musculature. And what we're saying is that it's important to engage the inner unit muscles, which are referred to as the internal passive control subsystem or intrinsic passive control subsystem before you would leverage the external musculature, which we normally associate with our core, so that we have efficient stability before we leverage movement. Now again, if we do it well by engaging that inner unit and support it bilaterally, both sides of the body equally, because we do have hemisphere imbalances, well then I can hold the ribs down efficiently, create a uniform shell around the whole of the abdomen and the thorax, and then I can breathe in and expand my trunk. Why that's so uh, important or of a critical importance is that that organization of the pressure around your midsection gives you the ability to inflate different chambers of your trunk, which then shifts your center of gravity and changes the way that you maintain upright posture for the whole of your skeletal system, thereby changing the way that the muscles anchor off of it and then change their resting tone or their neural um, p potential. So essentially, if they're offset because the structure is malaligned, everything's gonna be out of balance and then you're gonna create local force imbalances that lead to injury. So it's really important that we center up the spine, we learn how to control this zone of apposition. It's the diaphragm again pumping down and the ab tension supporting that so you can get a good leverage. And that way we don't recruit the accessory respiratory muscles like our neck muscles or our pec minors, the lower back musculature. Again, these are the principal pieces of a, of a corrective exercise strategy you got to maintain bracing and learn how to distinguish between the inner unit and the outer unit. Make sure you know how to engage your transverse abdominis equally on both left and right sides so that we can properly position the rib cage to get the leverage we need from the diaphragm. So there it is, folks. Zone of apposition. Any questions on this, make sure to reach out at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Also remember that we have a whole blog topic on this on our website, so go check that out. We also have a YouTube channel where we've done a whole video on practical application and exercises you can do to fix it. So questions, check in. Otherwise, get after it. And remember, your body's designed to move, so stay in motion. I'll see you soon.